Hey guys, forgive the outfit today, but I'm in my karate gi today because I have karate at six. But you know, when you got videos to do, sometimes you gotta use the right outfit and everything um, for what you're dealing with, right? So, so today we got a couple of different videos to do. So, a couple of announcements in the beginning of the channel. So, you saw my painkiller review, my painkiller rant. Um, I was upset. I'm hoping HBO Max still picks it up. I have. No, I want to make it clarified. I have no hard feelings for Naomi as a show. So far, they haven't told me anything about the show that interests me. But if someone tells me that it's going to be good, and there is enough intrigue, and it might be an interesting show, I'll check it out. So I wanted to clear that up. Because while I was upset, I wanted you guys to know that I still do care about all the shows on this channel. And I have no hard feelings against CW. I just was disappointed that we were not going to get that show. Like, I still love what you're producing. You're still doing a great job in your universe and doing what, what we want to see. But sometimes you do very bad things. And sometimes you hire writers that do very bad things. This is an example. So, to get things started, this video right now that we're filming is going to be The Flash Family Matters Part 2, a rant and review. So, let's get the positives out of the way. Barry Alan, as the Flash, in this episode, which is episode 11 of the season, he finally does something. He finally gets to run around, be the Flash, try and save the day. He runs actually a couple more times than he has almost all season. So that was kind of cool. I'm, I'm glad that we got that in the episode because we needed it. It'd be nice if the Flash did that more often. You know, have your lead character in his superhero suit actually running around, saving people, doing what the Flash does. Hmm, maybe think on it, right? It seems seems like it would be probably the right thing to do but you know you don't seem to do that so now that's the review portion I like that next thing I liked is so when Killer Frost got her to jail she got a pretty cool fight sequence against her enemy slash lover Chillblain so that was pretty cool pretty decent choreography interesting stuff next thing let's get into the negatives oh my god the nonsense between the brothers and the sisters of the speed force just why, why guys, just, why did you make this storyline? This is an absolute abomination. This is trash. This is absurd. This is fucking bullshit. Are you kidding me? Like, God, why? And then at the end, Nora's just like, Barry, yay. And then, and then she says, and then Barry says, oh, it's you. Like, they're all one happy family. Fuck that. Fuck this shit. Are you kidding me? This is... The writing in this show for this episode is atrocious. I don't know who was writing this episode, but they should be fired immediately. I know Eric Wallace produced it. I know he hasn't been writing this episode. So I know he's not to blame. But these writers were terrible on this episode. Terrible. The effects. Oh my gosh. Sometimes things looked good, but otherwise it was like a cartoon. Like when they were in the Speed, speed Force where it looked obvious green screen it was it was terrible like sorry i had to take off my glasses for a second guys it was just oh my god it was atrocious it was it was so bad the writing was so bad things didn't make sense the children's speed force storyline didn't make sense some of the action was interesting the acting was so bad the stuff between iris and barry and the team still kind of telling barry what he needs to do but Barry taking charge and kind of doing what he thinks he should do. Which I like that Barry stood by his own guns. But the writing, just everything feels out of place. Allegra telling Joe, giving her the reverse pep, giving him the reverse pep talk. God, why? Why, guys, why? All right. I am so sick and tired of this. I'm glad this storyline is over. I'm going to give this episode of The Flash a 2.5 out of 10, guys. I, wow. Just, this was so bad. And I really want it to be... I really am glad this storyline's over. Let's hope that Godspeed can save this show for the rest of the season, guys. We need him to save the show. Because, oh my gosh, guys, this is so bad. Can he please save the show? Please, Godspeed, do something good. Save this show now. Because this episode was atrocious. It was bad. The writing was bad. The whole t 
team up with the whole Speed Force stuff. Seeing Barry with the full Speed Force be as fast as he possibly could be was cool. But, oh my god, all of this nonsense. Terrible, guys. 2.5 out of 10, guys. Worst episode of the season, and I didn't think it could get worse than the other episodes. But this episode steps it up in the bad department, guys. Hoping that next week, goodbye, hoping in two weeks when we return, goodbye vibrations is better. Thanks for watching this rant and review. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, share, subscribe. And remember, might for right. Thanks for watching.